They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Foothills Truck Services, conveniently located on the corner of Dakota Avenue and Highway 34 in Wessington Springs, can help you with all your truck and trailer repairs, maintenance, modification, and fabrication. They are a dealer for Titan fuel tanks and carry truck and trailer accessories plus chrome. Foothills Truck Services is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week during the harvest season. Call Foothills Truck Services at 605-350-7678 or check them out on Facebook. When it comes to your family, home, car, and business, you can count on your local Farm Bureau team in Wessington Springs to be there to protect what matters most. A super check from Farm Bureau can help make sure you have the right coverage in place so if the unexpected happens, you are prepared. To schedule a super check, contact Farm Bureau agent Brian Bergeline in Wessington Springs today. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievements. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance has focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a brighter tomorrow tomorrow right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now to optimize your inputs for next year's crop contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. Dr. Kelly Tobin and staff at Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic are proud supporters of high school athletics. When it comes to large and small animal health, look to Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue, across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Foothills Truck Services, conveniently located on the corner of Dakota Avenue and Highway 34 in Wessington Springs, can help you with all your truck and trailer repairs, maintenance, modification, and fabrication. They are a dealer for Titan fuel tanks and carry truck and trailer accessories plus chrome. Foothills Truck Services is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week during the harvest season. Call Foothills Truck Services at 605-350-7678 or check them out on Facebook. 
When it comes to your family, home, car, and business, you can count on your local Farm Bureau team in Westington Springs to be there to protect what matters most. A super check from Farm Bureau can help make sure you have the right coverage in place so if the unexpected happens, you are prepared. To schedule a super check, contact Farm Bureau agent Brian Bergeline in Westington Springs today. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievements. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance has focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a brighter tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Actegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Actegra agronomist for details or visit Agtegra.com today. Dr. Kelly Tobin and staff at Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic are proud supporters of high school athletics. When it comes to large and small animal health, look to Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. It seems around here, every town is a sports town. And why not? Sports were important to us growing up, and we want the same for our kids. To get involved, to compete, because that's how kids learn to lead. And why Farmers Union Insurance supports these programs. They know sports aren't just about building skill and strength, but about building character. Farmers Union Insurance. They don't just protect our community, they invest in it. Welcome here to Spartan Field. We'll be getting ready here for these uh, for this 11B matchup between the Woonsocket Westington Springs Sanborn Central Blackhawks as they take on the Chamberlain Cubs tonight. Now we'll begin our introductions. First, we'll start with the cheerleaders for both squads. First, for the Chamberlain Cubs, Emma Rademacher, Unity Stylin, Nevaeh Hopper. And Cedar Hawk. And now the cheerleaders for the Blackhawks. As we're getting our starting lineups here for Chamberlain.
165 pound senior, number 18, Aiden Evans. At quarterback, a 6'2", 170 pound freshman, number 15, Cruz Solak. The defensive starting unit for the Cubs. On that defensive lineman, 865-225-pound senior, number 56, Colby Highland. That defensive lineman, 863-200-pound senior, number 77, Gunnar Ristow. That defensive lineman, 861-260-pound senior, number 70. But hold on to this camera when you're moving it because I don't want it to fall out and please don't unplug my cords. I'm just saying it's happened before. Ready? Just make sure you do your ads and everything just like normal. So there's our starting lineups as we get our colors presented tonight.
Getting ready for the coin toss here. Sorry, we're having audio trouble. So the Blackhawks kicking off here to start the game. It'll be Philip Hines uh, kicking off for Woonsocket and Westington Springs, Sanborn Central in the home black jerseys, the Cubs in the road white jerseys. These two teams met earlier this season, at the be actually at the beginning of the year. Taken there by the Cubs, and he comes to the near side as he steps out of bounds at about the 21-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Cubs at the 21. Cubs come up to the line, quarterback in the shotgun. And a pass play coming up here, and he's going to be flushed out of the pocket and tries to step up, and he's taken down. And maybe about a loss of, loss of two here, so it's going to bring up second down and 12. Loss of three on the play, second down and 13. Hand off there, and he goes right up the middle and breaks through some tackles, and he's going to pick up a Chamberlain first down as he gets across the 30-yard line to the 32. So again, in the shotgun again. And another handoff right up the middle as they opened up a big hole. And he has another Chamberlain first down as they are running the ball quite well here early on here against the Blackhawk defense as they cross the 40 to the 44 or 45. So first and 10. First down and 10 from the Cubs, 45. Cubs, back, Cubs come back up to the line. Quarterback in the shotgun again. And another handoff, and he's met there, but then he almost broke that one through, but he ends up coming, uh, taken down by Christensen. At about the 45, so second down and 10. No gain on it. Carter Gross in there as well for the Blackhawks. No gain on the play. Second down and 10. Cubs come up to the line, and another quick handoff. They go up the middle, and that time the Blackhawks close up the hole as he gets across the 45 to the 47. Christensen on the stop. So 
So third and seven, ball in the 48. Cubs come up to the line. Pass coming up far side and almost picked off. Number 21 there from the Blackhawks is Caden Walter. Got his hands on it, but could not haul it in. So it's going to bring up a fourth and seven. Punting situation for the Cubs. And they do get it off. And it's going to be field here by Olinger. And he's going to take it right up and then come to the near side. And coming around one, gets across to the 40. And taken down at about the 42. So a good run back there on that. On that kickoff by Olinger, so the Blackhawks will... Good field position here to start their first drive here at the 9-12 mark here in the first quarter. Blackhawks open their first drive of the game. It's first down and 10 from their own 42. Have what? So a second down and four, or excuse me, second down and seven from the 42, handoff to Olinger. He's going to go right up, and he'll get across the 45 to the 47. So it's going to bring up third down here to 828 mark. Third down and four for the Blackhawks on the 47, 48. Yes, third down and four. Yeah, Blackhawks come up to line. Slykehouse under center. And right up the middle, Olinger goes. And a first down for the Blackhawks. So the Blackhawks will move the chains. Eight oh two to go here in this first quarter. Still nothing, nothing, and the Blackhawks on the run is Olinger, as he is taken down for a short, short gain. A two on the play, so second down and eight. Ball on the forty-one. Blackhawks coming up to the line. Psychhouse back under center for the Blackhawks. And another handoff to or to Gross and or excuse me, it was Olinger on the handoff. As he gets across the 40 to about the 37. So third and four in the 37. 6.53 to go here in the first quarter. Blackhawks with the ball. Yost in motion. And a pitch to Yost. And he's going to take around the far side. And he's going to turn it up. Enough for a Blackhawk first down. As he gets to the 20 yard line for Woonsocket, Westington Springs, Sanborn Central. Slykehouse in the shotgun now for the Blackhawks. Olinger in the backfield. And a quick handoff to Olinger, and he's going to go take it to the far side. Has he gained close to 
five maybe on that carry, so it's going to bring up a second down. Only in motion, pass coming up here into the end zone. Wide open, oh, stretching out there. It looked like he was wide open with Shelsky as he had to stretch out for it. And incomplete, so it's going to bring up a third down and five on the 15 here for the Blackhawks. Blackhawks come up to the line. Quarterback under center. Right up to Olinger, right up the middle. And that's going to be enough to move the chains here for the Blackhawks for a first down. So it's going to be first and goal. First and goal here for the Blackhawks. Hollinger with it, and it's across the five there. So second down and goal with five minutes to go here in this first quarter. Blackhawks on the verge of punching it in here. So ball on the four-yard line, second down and goal. Blackhawks come up to the line. Slykehouse under center. And he's going to give it to Yost, and he's going to go in for a Blackhawk touchdown on four yards out is Camden Yost, and the Blackhawks take the lead here with 4.34 to go in the first quarter. As they lead 6 nothing, and the extra point coming on here for Woonsocket, Westington Springs, Sanborn Central. It'll be Philip Hine back to kick this one through, number 58. And the extra point is no good by Philip Hines. So the end or the 434 to go here in the first quarter. Blackhawks leading six nothing. We will be right back. Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue, across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Foothills Truck Services, conveniently located on the corner of Dakota Avenue and Highway 34 in Wessington Springs, can help you with all your truck and trailer repairs, maintenance, modification, and fabrication. They are a dealer for Titan fuel tanks and carry truck and trailer accessories plus chrome. Foothills Truck Services is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week during the harvest season. Call Foothills Truck Services at 605-350-7678 or check them out on Facebook. When it comes to your family, home. Kick there, short kick, picked up at the 30. So it's going to give the Cubs some good field position as he's taken down just about the 40-yard line is where they'll mark it. So good field position here for the Cubs. 
4.30 left here in the first quarter. Blackhawks leading 6-0. So first down and 10 here from the 40 for Chamberlain. Handoff coming to the near side and broken up there right at the 40. He had Shelsky in there to bring him down. And Clay Olinger as well in there on the tackle. Cups come up to the line. Second and nine on the 41, 349 to go here in the first quarter. Quarterback in the shotgun, the pass coming up far side, incomplete. Kind of let him out a little bit. And that was Gullickson on the other side there. On the receiving end there for the Cubs. Shimke as well over there on the defensive side. Uh, he would have let him out a little further. He might have had a pick. Clock stopped at 343. Third and nine from the 41. Cubs come up to the line. And completion uh, across the 50 for a first down. To Dawson Gullickson on the completion on that far side. So they will move the chains. First and 10 from the 48. 332 to go here in this first quarter. As the Cubs come up to the line. On the run, met there right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe got a yard out of it. That's going to bring up second down and nine. From the 47. Three minutes here left in the first quarter. Cups come up to the line. Gain of one on the play, second down and nine. Far side, he gets around, down the sideline, and he is pushed out of bounds, and we have a flag back here at about the 45-yard line. And it looks like this might be coming back, a hold here on the Cubs. And it is a hold on the Cubs, so that'll bring it back. That was a good run there. As he got up near the 20 yard line. So this will bring it back. So it's going to bring a second down. Holding ball against the cup. Second down. On the 45, 228 to go here in this first quarter. Another pass, screen pass, and he gets through that one. He gets across midfield again, but he does not pick up a first down. Well short of it's going to be third down. Pass is complete to Thaddeus Weisenbach. So on the 43. It's going to bring up a third down. Third and five. Cubs come up to the line. 
Minute 38 to go here in this first quarter. Pass and deflected there by number 25 from the Blackhawks. It's Keaton Fridley got a hand on it. So an incomplete clock will stop with a minute 29. Fourth and five from the 43. So a little decision making here for the Cubs. Are they going to go for it or punt this one away? And it looks like they are going to come up to the line and they have the offense on the field. They are going to go for it here on fourth and five. Quarterback in the shotgun. Pass coming up. Near side and through the hands. Good defensive stand there by the Blackhawks. It'll be a turnover on downs. So the Blackhawks will take over here on the 40, 43 yard line. First and 10, minute 24. And that was Olinger on the defensive stop there for Woonsock at Westington Springs, Sanborn Central. It's first down and 10 from the Hawks, 43. Blackhawks up to the line, Ghost in motion. And a quick handoff to go right up the middle, and I couldn't see who that was that carried the ball there. Number 33, Carter Gross as he takes it up for about three, so it's bring up second down and seven for the Blackhawks. Blackhawks coming up to the line. Second and seven. Ghost in motion again to the far side. Another hand right up the handoff right up the middle. As they get a good chunk out of that one, close, a couple yards short of the first down. So Larson took that one up the middle. So at the 50-yard line, it's third and two. Third and three, excuse me, as the Blackhawks come up to the line. Slykehouse under center. Yost in motion, and coming back to Olinger, and he's going to go right back up the middle, and that is going to be enough for a Blackhawk first down as he gets taken down at the 45. Ristow on the play there, on the tackle there for the Cubs. And that'll be the end of the first quarter here in Wessington Springs at Spartan Field. Blackhawks leading 6-0. We'll be right back. Car and business, you can count on your local Farm Bureau team in Wessington Springs to be there to protect what matters most. A super check from Farm Bureau can help make sure you have the right coverage in place so if the unexpected happens, you are prepared. To schedule a super check, contact Farm Bureau agent Brian Bergeline in Wessington Springs today. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievements. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance has focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a brighter tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details. 
or visit Agtegra.com today. Dr. Kelly Tobin and staff at Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic are proud supporters of high school athletics. When it comes to large and small animal health, look to Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. As a venture communications customer, you're Start of the second quarter here. It's second down and eight. Two-yard gain on that run there. As the Blackhawks come up to the line, Slykehouse now in the shotgun. Olinger behind him, and he will give it to Olinger, and he's going to go on the far side. And he's going to get close to another first down here. It's going to bring up third down and two. Blackhawks up to the line. It's like House getting under or in the shotgun, and you have Olinger coming way out, and he's going to take it and keep it here, and he's going to get through on the far side, and we are going to have enough for a Blackhawk first down as he gets close to the 30 on that run. So first and 10 from the 30, 10.25 to go here in the second quarter. Blackhawks up to the line. Slykehouse under center. Quick handoff there and maybe a yard on that. Actually, they gave him more than that. Almost five yards on that carry. So a second down. Pass coming up. Far side to Shelsky and over his reach. Or excuse me, on the near side. So an incomplete. So second down. Second and six from the 27. Third and six, excuse me. Third down and six from the Cubs. Pitch out here as Yost breaks through. And he's going to pick up a Blackhawk first down across the 20. Close to the 15 there, about the 14. So first and 10. Yost gains 10. Blackhawks move the chains. It's first down and 10 from the Cubs, 17. Quick handoff up the middle from Slykehouse. 8.58 to go here in the second quarter.
So a second and seven on the 13. Pass coming up here from Slykehouse. Almost brought down. Spins all the way around. Flags everywhere. And Shelsky open in the end zone. And a touchdown Blackhawks. But I got a feeling this one is not going to stand. And we are going to have a hold here on the Blackhawks. So that one will come back. Eight thirteen to go here in the second quarter. Ball on the twenty eight. Olinger to the far side. He's going to turn it up. And he gets almost back to that original line of a scrimmage there. So it's going to bring up a third down. Third and 11. Blackhawks come up to the line on third and 11. Option play and busted up there by the Cubs. So it's going to bring up a fourth down for the Blackhawks. Fourth and ten. As he was brought down by McManus from Chamberlain there. So fourth and ten here for the Blackhawks on the 18 as we are just under seven minutes to go here in the second quarter. Pass coming up here on fourth down into the end zone. And flag, there's going to be pass interference as Christensen went up for it, but there's a lot of contact there. And it is going to be pass interference on the Cubs. So it's going to be fourth, still a fourth down, fourth and two. Fourth and two. And Christensen will take it. And the chains will move for a Blackhawk first down. And it is going to be first and it's going to be a first and goal for the Blackhawks. Christensen gets the first down. It will be first and goal from the five. Blackhawks come up to the line. Slykehouse under center. You're going to have Christensen and Olinger behind the quarterback. Yost in motion. Oh, Yost and Olinger both take off, so flags come in. So this one is going to come back. This one is going to come back here on the Blackhawks. Against 
Blackhawks come up to the line. First and goal from the 10 here as Lighthouse under center. Hand off to Olinger and he'll take it up to about the six yard line, close to the five maybe here. So it's gonna go down a second and goal. On that run by Olinger. Blackhawks coming back up to the line. 5-14 remaining here till halftime. Olinger. Behind the quarterback. Quarterback in the shotgun here. And right to Olinger. And he is, oh, he got stood up there right at the two-yard line. So it's going to bring up a third and goal. As he busted through that near side and met there at the three yard line. Here at the 443 mark of the second quarter. And a timeout was called by Chamberlain. Timeout taken here by the Cubs. We'll be right back. For tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Foothills Truck Services, conveniently located on the corner of Dakota Avenue and Highway 34 in Wessington Springs, can help you with all your truck and trailer repairs, maintenance, modification, and fabrication. They are a dealer for Titan fuel tanks and carry truck and trailer accessories plus chrome. Foothills Truck Services is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week during the harvest season. Call Foothills Truck Services at 605-350-7678 or check them out on Facebook. When it comes to your family, home, car, and business. Back out of that timeout taken there by the Cubs. 438 to go till halftime. Blackhawks leading 7-0 and on the verge of punching it in again here on third and goal from the three. And Christensen takes it. Touchdown, Blackhawks, says Christensen took it right up the middle from three yards out. So the Blackhawks leading now 12 0. Philip Hines coming back out to kick the extra point. And the kick is good. So the Blackhawks lead 13 to nothing with 4.33 to go here in the second quarter. Some events coming up here for Blackhawks and Spartan events. October 12th, junior high football at Mount Vernon starting at 4.30 p.m. Two games, homecoming uh, coordination night as well, 7 p.m. And October 13th, volleyball travels to SBA with a junior high starting at 5.15. October 14th, cross-country regions as they travel to Gettysburg for a 1 p.m. start time. And October 15th, volleyball, uh, the Spartans will travel to Wolsey, Wessington with a junior high starting at 4.15. And then capping off homecoming week on October 16th, the Blackhawk football will be taking on Aberdeen Ron Colley here at home with 7 p.m. kickoff senior night. And the homecoming parade that day is at 2 o'clock in Wessington Springs as the Blackhawks get set here to kick it back here to Chamberlain leading 13 to nothing over the Cubs. 4.33 to go here until halftime. Bill Hines back to kick it away. 
Wind kind of coming off of the golf course to the north, going to the south, southeast, and he gets a, a boot on that one. Kind of short, though, two at the 20 in field by the Cubs and wrapped up and going nowhere as he's taken down at the 30. Now we get a flag coming in. And I don't know what this is, who this is going to be on. Personal foul on the Blackhawks. Personal foul the Blackhawks. I wonder if it was a late hit coming in on that tackle. So that'll give the Cubs even better position here, field position. They'll get almost up to the almost up to midfield at the 47. 426 to go till halftime. So first and ten. So pretty much just half a field to work with here for the Cubs and a handoff and taken down. for a loss of one, so it's going to be second down and 11 for the Cubs. So nowhere on that run as we approach the four-minute mark here in the second quarter. Cubs come up to the line. And on that run, nowhere wrapped up. Whistle's going, and he's brought down at the 35 or 45. So it's going to bring up a third down. Wormstead there in the takedown for Woonsocket at Westington Springs, Sanborn Central. As we approach the three minute mark now here in the second quarter. Third down and 12 from the Cubs, 45. And we are going to get a Time out here taken by Chamberlain as the uh, play clock for him uh, was ticking down to three. Uh, quick call to timeout. So 2.51 here to go before halftime. We'll be right back. Yes, you can count on your local Farm Bureau team in Westington Springs to be there to protect what matters most. A super check from Farm Bureau can help make sure you have the right coverage in place so if the unexpected happens, you are prepared. To schedule a Super Check, contact Farm Bureau agent Brian Bergeline in Westington Springs today. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievements. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance has focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a brighter tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right now is a all right coming out of that timeout. Third and twelve, two fifty one to go here in the second quarter. Cubs come up to the line, ball on the forty five. Third down and twelve. Pass coming up here from the quarterback, and he's going to step forward and met there by Shelsky from behind. Wow. Taken down back at the 45. And we are going to have a timeout now by the Blackhawks. We will be right back after 60 seconds. 
Great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. Dr. Kelly Tobin and staff at Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic are proud supporters of high school athletics. When it comes to large and small animal health, look to Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want all the way up to a gigabyte. Blackhawks will take over on that punt. Ball on the 24, first and 10 here, 233 remaining until halftime. Blackhawks with the ball. Hey, that's 23 yard line. 233 left in the half. It's Blackhawks ball. First down to 10. As the Blackhawks come up to the line, quarterback under center. Pitch out here to Yost, and he's going to try to get around and get, get up a good chunk of yards there. It was Camden Yost. So it's going to have a second and three from the 30 for the Blackhawks as they come up to the line. Quarterback under center at Slakehouse. Gross behind him. Yost and only are split to the quarterback. Pass coming up here. And into the hands for a completion as Shelsky gets it close to midfield. As he'll be taken down about the 48-yard line by the Cubs. So the clock will stop here until they set the chains. As the Blackhawks hurry up there to the line and the clock rolling. So a minute 40 to go till halftime. Slykehouse under center. Pitch back out here to Yost out near side and close to four yards, maybe five on that carry. Clock still ticking as he's stayed in bounds. And we're going to have a timeout taken here by the Blackhawks. It seems around here every town is a sports town. And why not? Sports were important to us growing up, and we want the same for our kids. To get involved, to compete, because that's how kids learn to lead. And why Farmers Union Insurance supports these programs. They know sports aren't just about building skill and strength, but about building character. Farmers Union Insurance. They don't just protect our community, they invest in it. All right, back onto the timeout taken by the Blackhawks. They come up to the line. Slykehouse in the shotgun. Gross behind him. Pass coming up here from Slykehouse into the hands of Olinger on the far side, and he turns it upfield across the 40 to the 36-yard line. Out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Game of 
So first and 10 here for the Blackhawks with a minute 13. And they are moving the ball quite well here in the closing minutes of this second quarter, trying to punch an inning in before halftime. On the 36, Olinger in motion to the far side. Pitch out to Olinger, and he's going to turn it upfield, but met at about the 35. No, they're going to give him more than that. So about the close to the 30. 34-yard line, second and eight, under a minute to go. Pass coming up, and met as he passed it, and that one's going to be way out of bounds. They might have gotten a, an arm on his, or a hand on his arm when he was throwing it, and it's going to bring up a third down and eight for the Blackhawks. 45 seconds to go till halftime. So 38 from the 34. And the shotgun is Slyke House. And a flag. And this one is incomplete. But we do have flags on the far side. As that was intended for Carter Gross. So 41 seconds here till halftime. Have a false start here in the Blackhawks. So they declined the penalty. The Cubs did so to bring up fourth and eight on the 34. Blackhawks going for it. Quarterback under center. Pass coming up. He's going to put it down and out to Shelsky. Oh, almost intercepted actually by the Cubs. And then Shelsky had another chance at it. That's going to be a turnover on down. So it'll go back to the Cubs with 33 seconds to go until halftime. Chamberlain Cubs coming up to the line. Quarterback in the shotgun, 33 seconds left on the 34. Pass coming up, and he's going to put it down and run far side as he gets crossed midfield at about the close to the 45-yard line. So first and 10 for Chamberlain. 24 seconds to go till halftime. So it's run is good for 21 yards. Cubs hurry up to the line. 24 seconds to go here till the halftime. Blackhawk, or the, excuse me, the quarterback in the shotgun for Chamberlain. And a quick handoff. They're going to go off to the far side, but taken down for a loss. Christensen going to bring him down. We are going to get a timeout here, it looks like. Taken by Chamberlain. We will be right back after 60 seconds. And 
Your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Foothills Truck Services, conveniently located on the corner of Dakota Avenue and Highway 34 in Blessington Springs, can help you with all your truck and trailer repairs, maintenance, modification, and fabrication. They are a dealer for Titan fuel tanks and carry truck and trailer accessories plus chrome. Foothills Truck Services is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week during the harvest season. Call Foothills Truck Services at 605-350-7678 or check them out on Facebook. When it comes to your family. All right, back out of that timeout. It's going to be second and 14 from the 49. 14 seconds to go here till halftime. Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing over the Cubs. Like I said earlier tonight, these two teams met in the opening game of the season in Forestburg, and it was the Blackhawks defeating the Cubs 14 to nothing. Blackhawks coming into tonight's game 4 and 2 on the year. Tied for that fifth spot in Class 11B and for the Chamberlain Cubs are 2 and 4 on the year or 2 and 2 maybe on the year, 2 and 4 on the year and sitting down in that 15 and 16 spot. In 11B, the Cubs come up to the line. Quarterback in the shotgun. Pass coming up. They're going to come to the near side and almost <laughs> into the hands of his receiver. It was a pretty good pass, actually, and it's going to be incomplete, though. So a third down and 14 for Chamberlain with eight seconds. So pretty much got to think this is going to probably be the last play before halftime. Cubs kind of taking their time a little bit here, getting the play in as they come up to the line. Third and 14 on the 49, eight seconds left here till half. And they do get it off, and here comes a quarterback, and he's going to be wrapped up by... The Blackhawks there for a loss. I Shel or Shelsky was in there, number 53 as well. Uh, Tyler Eddy there for the sack. And that'll be the end of the first half. Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing. We'll be back at the start of the third quarter. It seems around here every town is a sports town. And why not? Sports were important to us growing up. And we want the same for our kids to get involved, to compete, because that's how kids learn to lead. And why Farmers Union Insurance supports these programs. They know sports aren't just about building skill and strength, but about building character. Farmers Union Insurance. They don't just protect our community, they invest in it. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today home, car, and business, you can count on your local Farm Bureau team in Westington Springs to be there to protect what matters most. A super check from Farm Bureau can help make sure you have the right coverage in place so if the unexpected happens, you are prepared. To schedule a super check, contact Farm Bureau agent Brian Bergeline in Westington Springs today. It's your future. Let's protect it. 
Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievements. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance has focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a brighter tomorrow tomorrow right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now to optimize your inputs for next year's crop contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit Agtegra.com today. Dr. Kelly Tobin and staff at Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic are proud supporters of high school athletics. When it comes to large and small animal health, look to Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue, across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Foothills Truck Services, conveniently located on the corner of Dakota Avenue and Highway 34 in Wessington Springs, can help you with all your truck and trailer repairs, maintenance, modification, and fabrication. They are a dealer for Titan fuel tanks and carry truck and trailer accessories plus chrome. Foothills Truck Services is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week during the harvest season. Call Foothills Truck Services at 605-350-7678 or check them out on Facebook. When it comes to your family, home, car, and business, you can count on your local Farm Bureau team in Wessington Springs to be there to protect what matters most. A super check from Farm Bureau can help make sure you have the right coverage in place so if the unexpected happens, you are prepared. To schedule a super check, contact Farm Bureau agent Brian Bergeline in Wessington Springs today. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievements. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance has focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a brighter tomorrow tomorrow right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now to optimize your inputs for next year's crop contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit Agtegra.com today. Dr. Kelly Tobin and staff at Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic are proud supporters of high school athletics. When it comes to large and small animal health, look to Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. 
Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue, across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Foothills Truck Services, conveniently located on the corner of Dakota Avenue and Highway 34 in Wessington Springs, can help you with all your truck and trailer repairs, maintenance, modification, and fabrication. They are a dealer for Titan fuel tanks and carry truck and trailer accessories plus chrome. Foothills Truck Services is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week during the harvest season. Call Foothills Truck Services at 605-350-7678 or check them out on Facebook. Facebook. All right, we are back here. It's still halftime here in Wessington Springs at Spartan Field. Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing over the Chamberlain Cubs. Give you some uh, scores to other games happening around the state uh, here in 11B. Mobridge Pollock leading Redfield right now, 14 to nothing. Miller Highmore Herald um, at the first half, uh, right now down 44 to nothing to winner. And Flander and Webster area tied at six with five minutes left till halftime. Elk Point Jefferson leading McCook Central Montrose 27-14 at the half. You have St. Thomas Moore 21-0. Uh, uh, that one started the third quarter over Douglas. Custer leading lead Deadwood 22-0 in the second quarter. And... At the half in Garrettson tonight, uh, Bridgewater Emory Ethan leading 21 to nine, as that one is just approaching halftime. And Sioux Valley putting up a, the goose egg on Beersford tonight, uh, end of the first uh, end of the first half, 34 to nothing. And a team that the Blackhawks have next week here at home for homecoming night, Aberdeen Ron Colley leading Sisseton tonight, with about five minutes left in the second quarter. So those are the. Scores from around the state here in Class 11B here at the half in Wessington Springs. The Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing over Chamberlain. And we'll be back in a few minutes with the start of the third quarter. When it comes to your family, home, car, and business, you can count on your local Farm Bureau team in Wessington Springs to be there to protect what matters most. A super check from Farm Bureau can help make sure you have the right coverage in place so if the unexpected happens, you are prepared. To schedule a super check, contact Farm Bureau agent Brian Bergeline in Wessington Springs today. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievements. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance has focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a brighter tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, 
your Actegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Actegra agronomist for details or visit Actegra.com today. Dr. Kelly Tobin and staff at Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic are proud supporters of high school athletics. When it comes to large and small animal health, look to Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Foothills Truck Services, conveniently located on the corner of Dakota Avenue and Highway 34 in Wessington Springs, can help you with all your truck and trailer repairs, maintenance, modification, and fabrication. They are a dealer for Titan fuel tanks and carry truck and trailer accessories plus chrome. Foothills Truck Services is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week during the harvest season. Call Foothills Truck Services at 605-350-7678 or check them out on Facebook. When it comes to your family, home, car, and business, you can count on your local Farm Bureau team in Wessington Springs to be there to protect what matters most. A super check from Farm Bureau can help make sure you have the right coverage in place so if the unexpected happens, you are prepared. To schedule a super check, contact Farm Bureau agent Brian Bergeline in Wessington Springs today. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievements. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance has focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. All right, back here as we get ready to start the third quarter here in Wessington Springs. Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing as we get this third quarter started here. The Cubs will kick off here to start this third quarter. So getting started ready the second half here. Cubs back to kick. 
And you have Shimke and Olinger back to receive for Woonsocket, Westington Springs, Sanborn Central. And the kick. Going to take a couple bounces there, and I believe it's Shimke will pick it up, and he's going to head over to the near side. And he's going to run out of room here as he is chased out at about a 29-yard line. As we start this third quarter, Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing. So ball in the 28, first and 10. As the Blackhawks come up to the line, Slykehouse under center. Gross in the backfield. You have Olinger in motion, and he's going to give it to Carter Gross as he picks up about one on that carry. To the uh, we'll go two on it. It'll be second down and eight from the 30. Blackhawks come up to the line. Second and eight from the 30. Slykehouse back under center. And a handoff there to Camden Yo says he's going to. Pretty much get no gain out of that one. So it's going to be third down and eight from the 30. 10.55 to go here in the third quarter. Blackhawks come up to the line. Olinger in the backfield for the Blackhawks and it's going to be a pitch out to Olinger far side. And he is going to get maybe two out of this carry. So it's going to bring up a fourth down. So defensively here for Chamberlain, a good start here in this second half. Forcing the Blackhawks to punt here. Fourth and six on the 32, 10-12 to go here in the third quarter. So Hines back to punt here for the Blackhawks. High snap as he does gain control of it. And a booming punt there. And taken there, field by the Cubs by the, at the 20. Shelsky there. And then now you have Carter Gross going after him. And he does bring him down at about to the 30 on that return for the Cubs. That was a good punt there by Philip Hines from the Blackhawks. 9.41 to go here in the third quarter. 13-0 our score. Once again, you can look down at the bottom of your screen there, scrolling across the games going around the state in all classes. So first and 10 for the on the 30 for Chamberlain. A man in motion, and they're going to give it off, go right up the middle. On that carry is number 27. And up close to number 27, Trey Nealon. Nealon gains two. So two, a gain of two on that run. So second and eight for the Cubs on the 32. Quarterback in the shotgun. And fumble, he's dropped a snap, and he picks it up, and he's going to gain a couple out of it. So it could have been a disaster. Ended up being some positive yards for him. It's going to be a third down for the Cubs. Well, third and six on the 34, 8.46 to go here in the third quarter. Here yard 
Cubs come up to the line. Quarterback into shotgun. Shotgun once again. And the pass coming up, and he's going to have to scramble. And he does get it off for a completion. About the 50-yard line, and that's where he brought down. And then he... He's going to move the sticks here for the Cubs. Thought maybe there was a fumble over there, the way they were all going at it on the ground, but it's going to stay in the possession of Chamberlain, and they'll have it first and 10 at the 50. 8.15 to go here in the third quarter. Cubs come up to the line. Quarterback in the shotgun once again. And a quick handoff. They're going to near side and met there. In the backfield. So it's going to bring up a second and 11 from the 49. I think that was 25 there on the takedown for the Blackhawks. I... Keaton Fridley. So second 11. 721 to go here in the third quarter. They put a man in motion. Quarterback on a pitch out here and met there by Christensen in the backfield for a loss at the 40, 46. So it's going to bring up a third down here for Chamberlain. Now the third and 14. Six fifty and counting here in the third quarter. Cubs kind of taking their time getting the plays in, getting up to the line as they get up there now. Quarterback in the shotgun for the Cubs. Pass coming up here, and he's going to get it off and short of his receiver who come flying in and about the 45. But that is incomplete there, so it's going to bring up a fourth down and 14 from the 46. So a punting situation here for Chamberlain as the Blackhawks put Shimke and Olinger in the back for to receive this punt. So the punt coming up here for Chamberlain. Ball on the 46. And the Blackhawks are coming for him as he line drive that one and a bounce. Oh, <laughs> and you want to be close there as Carter Gross came close from touching that ball. That would have been a live ball. But the Blackhawks will take over. It'll be first and 10 from the 25 with 6.15 to go. Here in the third quarter. Blackhawks come up to the line. Psychos in the shotgun. And a handoff. It's going to be Olinger, and he's going to come up to the near side and turn it up and close to a Blackhawk first down, close to the 35-yard line. It's going to be second and one here for the Blackhawks. So a good run there by Olinger. 5.48 to go here in the third quarter. Blackhawks come up to the line. Quarterback in the shotgun, and another handoff there to Olinger as he was met, and that might be close. That uh, might be a first down. And I believe he got over the 35. He did to the 36, and that will move the chains. So first down for the Blackhawks on that carry by Olinger. 5.28 to go here in the third quarter. 
Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing. Just a reminder, the Blackhawks making their final push towards the 11B playoffs as they have their final regular season game uh, at home next week, a week from today, as they take on Aberdeen Ron Colley for homecoming night. It's also senior night here in Westington Springs. Kickoff at 7 o'clock. And a pitch as they come to the near side and close to the 40-yard line. Number 21 on the carry for Woonsocket, Westington Springs, Sanborn Central is Caden Walter on the carry for a four. So it's going to bring up second down in six for the Blackhawks, 4.33 and counting here in the third quarter. Blackhawks come up to the line. Christensen right behind uh, Slighthouse and Olinger as well. And they're going to give it to Olinger. As he crosses a 40 to about the 40. To about the 42. So third down and four. For the Blackhawks. 3.56 in county here in the third quarter. Kind of a quick third quarter here in Westington Springs. 13 nothing Blackhawks over Chamberlain. Whistle. And we are going to have a timeout taken here by the Blackhawks. We have 3.44 to go in the third quarter. We'll be back in 60 seconds. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, ensuring a brighter tomorrow. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. Dr. Kelly Tobin and staff at Rolling Hill. Back here in Westington Springs, uh, Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing over Chamberlain. 3.44 to go in the third quarter here in Spartan Field. I have with me up here uh, the head coach of the Spartan volleyball team, Lynette Neely. So third and four, and a handoff to Olinger, and he is going to get enough for a Blackhawk first down. That'll move the chains. So first and ten comes at the 340 mark. So first and ten from the 47. Slykehouse is in the shotgun. And a handoff here to Olinger again. And he gets some positive yardage there across the midfield. So it's going to bring up a second down and go four here on this one. So once again, I have the head coach of the Westington Springs Spartans volleyball team, Lynette Neely. So, Coach, how is the season going so far? Well, Marcus, it's nice to be here tonight. Not going as well as we'd like, but um, we're learning some things. Our team is young. And that carry there by Carter Gross. So we're going to third down and one here for the Blackhawks. Gross gains four, sets up third down and one. Or third and one, excuse me. 2.11 to go here in the third quarter. Five, 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 five. 
Blackhawks come up to the line. Pass coming up here from Slykehouse. Far side completed for a Blackhawk first down. Across the 35 to Shelsky. A minute 42 till here in the third quarter. So what is coming up on your schedule for next week? Well, next week we travel to Sunshine Bible on Tuesday, and then we travel to Wolsey on Thursday, and we have junior high, JV, and varsity both nights. No homecoming game at home, though, right? No, we do not. Our first home, our first home game after this next week will be Monday, the, I believe it's the 19th. And we will be doing a volley for the cure on Friday, October 23rd. So get out in town and get your pink shirts at True Value or Springs Food Market. So it's a second and 10 here for the Blackhawks as we're under a minute here in the third quarter. On the 24, they are moving the ball quite well. Slighthouse in the shotgun. And a handoff again to Olinger, and he is going to bring it across for a Blackhawk first down to move the chain. That will stop the clock momentarily at 31 seconds. So on Friday, October 23rd, you said you have the volley for the cure. What are you any more on that sure um you know with covid this year we've had to make some changes we can't do our usual fundraisers that we do because of gatherings so we're going to sell shirts and we're also going to sell pink um, volleyballs that we can put on the gym in memory kind of like a luminary that relay for life does so we're going to try to raise some money to give to the colosic family and that is on what date again that will be friday october 23rd all right, so we have the end of the third quarter here in Westington Springs. Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing. We will be right back. It seems around here every town is a sports town. And why not? Sports were important to us growing up. And we want the same for our kids. To get involved. To compete. Because that's how kids learn to lead. And why Farmers Union Insurance supports these programs. They know sports aren't just about building skill and strength, but about building character. Farmers Union Insurance. They don't just protect our community, they invest in it. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. So as they march to the other side of the field here, getting ready to start this fourth quarter. Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing, kind of a similar outcome to our first game we played against Chamberlain. Blackhawks come up to the line to start this fourth quarter, leading 13 to nothing, Slykehouse. Under center, you're going to have Olinger in motion coming to the near side, and he's going to get the pitch, come around the corner, and he is going to be pushed out of bounds just short of the first down, about the 11-yard line. <clears throat> so the Blackhawks on the verge of punching it in again. Seven 
yard gain on the play. Second down and three. So second and three. And up goes to Camden Yost. So Yost with the carry there. He's brought down by Jackson Sullivan. So it's going to bring up a third down and three for the for the Blackhawks on the 12 yard line. 11.32 remaining here in the fourth quarter. So third and two, pass coming up here from Slykehouse, and he is going to be brought down as he tried to get away. McManus there to bring him down in the backfield. So it's going to bring up fourth down for the Blackhawks. Fourth and seven from the 16. Blackhawks come up to the line. Kind of a spread offense here. Quarterback in the shotgun. Kind of fourth down territory here for him. Need to pick up seven for the first down. He scrambles and the pass completed to Shelsky. And that is going to be enough for a Blackhawk first down. That will move the chains. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yes, it is a first down. They are moving the chain, so it's going to be first and goal here for the Blackhawks. 10-11 to go here in the fourth quarter. A thank you to Lynette Neely for running the camera tonight. And Mr. Flowers as well doing our uh, production on the computer. As the Blackhawks come up to the line and... We're going to hand that one off. I couldn't. Olinger on that one for a few. So a second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. 9.35 to go here in the game. Blackhawks leading 13 to nothing. Blackhawks come back up to the line. Olinger behind the quarterback, Ashelski, or excuse me, a Slykehouse is under center. And a handoff to Christensen as well, who's back there. And it's a couple yards there out of it. So third down and goal. Got to about maybe the four, close to the four, anyways. Christensen a little slow getting up. They're going to get a whistle here. And. Looks like Christensen's going to have to come out here. I don't know if it's the helmet coming off, so he's going to have to come out. As number 26 comes in for him is, uh, is Brady Larson. So Larson behind... Slyke House, Olinger as well. Pitch out to Olinger. He's going to go to the far side and cut it right back up, and he is going to put it in for a Blackhawk touchdown. Blackhawks leading now 19 to nothing. The extra point coming on here by Philip Hines as he is, well, he's missed one earlier and made one. 8.29 to go here in the fourth quarter. Hines back to kick this one through. Number 58. Good snap, good hold, and good kick. No, off to the left. So the score remains 19 to nothing here in Wessington Springs with 8.29 to go here in the Fourth quarter, 
Blackhawks leading. We'll be right back. Veterinary Clinic are proud supporters of high school athletics. When it comes to large and small animal health, look to Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. They understand how important your livestock is to you and will give you service that you can depend on. Call 539-1040. That's 539-1040. Rolling Hills is located on Dakota Avenue across from Farm Bureau in Wessington Springs. Rolling Hills Veterinary Clinic. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Foothills Truck Services, conveniently located on the corner of Dakota Avenue and Highway 34 in Wessington Springs, can help you with all your truck and trailer repairs, maintenance, modification, and fabrication. They are a dealer for Titan fuel tanks and carry truck and trailer... Blackhawks getting ready to kick it off here to the Cubs on that scoring drive and kind of a short kick left high and kind of hung up there. And taken here by the Cubs as he's coming to the near side across the 30 to the 35. And brought down at about the 36-yard line. Eight twenty-one to go here in the game. Blackhawks leading 19 to nothing. Cubs come up to the line. Quarterback in the shotgun for Chamberlain. And a quick handoff, number 25, and he is going to be brought down by a slew of Blackhawks. So second down. Second and eight on the 39. Second down and eight on the 39. As the Cubs come up to the line, quarterback once again in the shotgun. He's been in the shotgun pretty much all night. Pass coming up. Christensen going at it to the quarterback. Comes up short. Completion made and close to midfield there for the Cubs. And that is going to be a Chamberlain first down. They will move the sticks as they get up to the 49-yard line. So right at midfield. 7.36 to go here in the ball game. And we're going to have Matt in the backfield there, brought down for a loss. So it's going to bring up second down for Chamberlain. So second and 13 from the 46, 6.47 to go in the game. Pass coming up here for the Cubs and a completion. Oh, no. Through the hands, he kind of turned up field or turned his head to look up field and dropped it. Incomplete, so it's going to bring up third down and 13 on the 46 for the Cubs. 6.41 to go here in the game. Some scores around a class 11B. A winner defeating Miller Highmore Herald at halftime, 50 to nothing. Mobridge Pollock up 40 to six over Redfield. And 
it's going to bring up a fourth down now for Chamberlain on the incompletion. 6.37 to go in the game. In Salem tonight, uh, McCook Central Montrose is uh, mounting a comeback here. They're trailing by four with eight minutes in the third quarter. St. Thomas Moore up 35-6 over Douglas tonight. You have Custer 22 to nothing lead over Lee Deadwood. And another pass coming up as the quarterback's going to run with it now. Shelsky going after him along with number 26 there is Larson, and they bring him down, and that is going to be a turnover on downs, and it'll be Blackhawk football. Also in Garrettson tonight, Bridgewater, Emery, Ethan in the third quarter, leading 27-9 to over the Blue Dragons, and Sioux Valley leading over Beersford 42-12, to three minutes left in the third quarter. And a team that will be taking on next week here in homecoming Aberdeen, Ron Colling trailing right now 36 to 18 to Sisseton with two minutes left in the third quarter. So a turnover on downs there by the Cubs. It'll go back to the Blackhawks with 628 to go. Blackhawks leading 19 to nothing. First and 10 on the 46. Slickhouse in the shotgun. And low snap gains his gains it back, and he's going to take off with it. And he's going to get. Maybe a yard out of that. On that scramble by Slykow, so it's going to be second down and they're going to give him two, it looks like. So second down and eight. There will be a long, long two. 6 3 coming here in the fourth quarter as the Blackhawks come up to the line. So second and eight from the 44. Yost in motion and a pitch out to him to the far side. Chase down and this is going to be for a loss. Loss of two. So it's going to bring up third down and ten. For the Blackhawks. Third down and 11 instead. He almost did motion to the far side, and they're getting up to, to Olinger, and he gets across the 45 to about the 40. Well, they're going to mark it at the 45 here, so fourth down. Fourth down and 10 here. They're going to say fourth and nine. Four eighteen to go in the ball game. High snap. Hines with the punt, booming punt. Left it high, and it's going to go out of bounds at the 13-yard line. So that is where the Cubs will take over with 4-10 remaining here in the fourth quarter. So first and 10 from the 13. 4 10 remaining in the ball game as the Cubs come up to the line. Quarterback in the shotgun here. Low snap. He gains control of it now. Pass coming up. And over the head of his receiver. Olinger was there, uh, was in the area for the Blackhawks. So it's going to bring up a second down and 10 from the 13. So 
Cubs come up to the line. Second down and 10 from the 13. Quarterback in the shotgun. They're going to put a man in motion. Both of them go. And there come the flags. And he is going to be brought down in the backfield, back by the maybe the nine yard line. But flags flying as both you know, two Cubs running in motion there. So legal motion they are declined. So it's going to bring up a third down in 13 for the Cubs. As we're just under four minutes to go here in this ballgame. Blackhawks leading 19 to nothing. Pass coming up into the middle of the field and incomplete. Threw his hands and dropped it. So it'll bring up a fourth down here for Chamberlain. Fourth and 13 on the 10. 3.35 remaining here in the ball game. Blackhawks leading 19-0. Looking to go 5-2 and two on the year. Trying to hold a, a 5, maybe a 4 spot in the... Uh, 11B playoffs, which would give them a first-round home game for sure. But they still have one game remaining on the schedule, and that's Aberdeen Ron Colley. A punt coming up here for the Cubs, and that one it was nowhere, out of bounds at about the 25. And that is where they mark it. At least I think they're going to. And they're coming more. Wow. About the 22-yard line. And is where the Blackhawks will take over. And it looks like the coaching staff from Moonsock at Westington Spring Sanborn Central have gone to the uh, reserves or to the bench here. With just about three minutes remaining here in this ball game, leading 19 to nothing. Blake Larson, uh, quarterback now, under center. And a pitch out to the far side is number two. Hayden by, he's going to be taken down. Hayden Bay taken down for a loss, so it's going to bring up second down for the Blackhawks as they are the 26 yard line 27 so it'll be second and 15 255 to go here in the game Larson under center and he goes nowhere on that carry So 2.24 to go, third and 14 on the 26. Third down and 14. Pitch out here to the near side, trying to get to the side here to get around and pushed out of bounds. was Lane Olinger on the carry there. So it's going to be fourth down and 14 here for the Blackhawks. With a minute 56 to go in this ball game. No gain on the play. Fourth down and 14 for the 26. Well, 
Highcocks look like they will be going for it here. And a player coming in late to the far side is number four, Cade Moline. And a pass coming up here, and nope, oh, the quarterback's going to take it. He's going to come back around. He has some green in front of him, and that's going to be close for a Blackhawk first down on the run there by the quarterback. And that is a Blackhawk first down, so that'll move the chains with a minute 47. It is going to be first and 10 from the 11. So they can still pick up another first down here before the goal line. Blackhawks kind of just taking their time here. Clock is ticking away here is what they need. Down to a minute 27. Blackhawks come up to the line. Larson under center. And a pitch out to number two. And he's going to turn it up to about the five yard line. So it's gonna be second down and five for the Blackhawks. And that was Hayden Bay for the Blackhawks on that carry as we approach the one minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Blackhawks come up to the line, Larson under center. Carter Gross behind him in the backfield. As they're just running the, letting the clock tick. Now we have a whistle flag, and they're going to say a false start here on the, on the Blackhawks, so they will come back on that one with 40 seconds to go here in the game. So it's second down and a second down and ten, and they'll be brought down for a loss on that carry. So a third down, a big loss on that carry back down to the nineteen with twenty-seven seconds to go. Clock running, and that is pretty much going to end it here in Westington Springs. Waiting for the clock to hit. Double zero as the Blackhawks will improve to five and two on the year. Up next for the Blackhawks here at home next week, homecoming night here in Westington Springs. They will take on Aberdeen Ron Colley at the 7 p.m. kickoff. Reminder, the parade will be at two o'clock on Friday in Westington Springs. So final here, Blackhawks defeating the Cubs 19 to nothing. Good night. Thank you.